Hello from Bug Eye Guy. Today I want to talk to you a little about SU carburetors and specifically float bowl overflow, which is a chronic problem and many of these cars experience it, whether it's an MGB or anything else with SU carbs, this is a chronic problem. In today's film though, I want to talk a little about these H1 carbs. This is the, the Bug Eye basic uh, carburetor setup. These two little inch and an eighth carburetors on a 948 engine is what we have here but it's really the same even if you have bigger carburetors and even on a big Healy with the HD8s, it's a very similar system. So what we have is the fuel coming from the tank up through this filter, up this line and connecting here and then this feeds both carburetors. It comes around and into this float bowl. And then once it fills the float bowl here, the, the float rises and closes the needle and seat valve shuts off the fuel flow, and then the fuel drains out into the carburetor jet from the bottom. But here's the issue. So this is constantly rising and filling, and there's a little float inside this bowl that will allow the appropriate amount of fuel. You set the level by adjusting the float height, and this is how the reservoir feeds the carburetor. But here's where the trouble happens. This little valve is called the needle and seat, and inside this float chamber is a valve like this and what happens is they can get a little tiny piece of grit inside there uh, whether it be a contaminant in the fuel or a little piece of rust that came out of the tank it will allow this little point to not seal inside that seat it has to seal you can see that it has to seal accurately and if it doesn't you get overrun and the symptom is a puddle of fuel on the floor. So of course, if you're unfamiliar with all this, you see a big fuel leak in front of your car, you don't know why, and it's very disconcerting. So the solution, as best as we can tell at this point, and there's a lot of dogma about this, but this is a Viton tipped needle. This is ethanol proof and impervious to the ravages of ethanol, which is of course in all of our modern fuel these days. And this little tip goes down into this seat and allows the fuel flow to shut off more reliably than a metal assembly. So it's basically just pulsing open and closed as the float rises and falls and allowing fuel to flow in and stop and flow in and stop. And it's when it doesn't stop that you get the overrun, a lot like a toilet that overflows. So another thing you can do is wrap on the top of this, not the air filter, on the top of this float like that. And what that does, if you're successful, is it allows this little, <laughs> I'm trying to do this with one hand holding the camera. We'll switch to plan B. It allows this little needle to fall away from the seat and hopefully whatever detritus is in there has fallen away and then when your fuel pump starts flowing that little bit of debris will sink into the float the fuel will flow the valve will function the overflow will cease and you'll be on your way again now if you're lucky that little piece of cheese will get ingested and burned and nobody's nobody's the worst for wear but if you're unlucky and your fuel tank is full of crud this will recur almost immediately thereafter or if you have a float bowl that hasn't been cleaned in eons there will be a pile of fine silt at the bottom of this bowl which when it gets stirred up will clog the needle and seat once again and you'll be right back wrapping away trying to get your car to stop pissing overboard so you want to know about needles and seats and if you haven't already You'll want to get the other half is now on the floor, which I'll retrieve later, but you'll need this Viton needle and seat that we sell at bugeyeguyparts.com. Thanks for watching today and happy motoring.